Uh, I, yeah, down there, yo, a river guy. I uh, work on the uh, Whitewater Rivers. That's how I come to uh, South America first time. I came just to kayak in uh, Ecuador, in the in the Napo. I make funny videos about uh, people wrecking rafts and crashing kayaks. <laughs> How ironic you could make enough money to buy a camera doing that. The Incas use for a coup the different stones in that shape. Inside the tools, then we change the tools for wood, the estacas, the madera, what does this say? That is the hiwayas inside the wood. When I inches the wood, the split of the stone. The different stones used for a building different church in the many squares. Where, where? The Tafeguama have three levels represent the Andean cross. The Andean cross for the Incas was a chacana. No? The chacana is a represented the star in the ski, represented the four. The Wama is three levels, represent the three animals. The third level represents the snake, second level is cougar, and third level is a condo. Ah. The snake represents the war inside, cougar is war here, and condor is war up. Oh. Represents the thunder. Thunder was the Inca's important call in Yapa. In Yapa was necessary for a rainy, the rainy was necessary for a farmer. The principal economy was like some restoration after Spaniards stole some of the stones. That is a very big stone. Wow. One, two hundred stones. Muy grande. Inside, in the corner, have a big stone. That's protecting to the first, second, and third levels. Oh. When a building in Casaria made a ramp, put a big boot for a put as levers. Holes in the to put levers, pieces of wood. Yeah. Only in the big stones have a big stones. Ah. Yeah. So these stones were used to uh mid these. The holes in the stones were used to manipulate with uh, poles. <laughs> Alpaca. Yes. And this is the alpaca. See the head in the top right corner, and the tail toward the left, the body. That is guinea pig. <laughs> and this is the guinea pig. You see the head to the right and the body to the left and down a little. Kawana Punku, all the time such a woman. The door is in Quechua language, Punku. It's trapezoidal shape, and this is me, that shape. It's very high because the different door is used for a strong position. 
I order down the 20th is June at 24 is 18 of for the summer, the song project in that door, in that suit. So she is the change the season. For the Incas was important, used for agriculture, for a farmer, and for a dehydrated different products. No? Yes. So she one and has 14 doors. Don't have 40, it's only astrological, because such a one and has 14 doors. That is so So they would make their offerings to their gods here? That Incas was necessary mummification. That position, fetal position. Probably only principal kings was doing that mummification. No? That is special. Only in special areas fixing different families. Probably was a principal king, noblesse for the Incas families. <laughs> Note the drainage built into the original structure. That is a symbol of a snake. Ah, oh, snake, serpent. Yes, probably the Incas put a snake in gold. But the time to put the fire in it. Fire originally a golden snake. Oh, I think I see the head. <laughs> head of the snake. See the head, the body, hummingbird. This is the hummingbird. The bottom left is the flower. Kind of middle to the right is the uh, body. You can see the tail. It's sun door. The sun door. Yes. That door is project for the eight when the eight the same project is here. The six and seven iron so this is a equinoctial solitude. And walking toward the mirror door. 
or the scenic overlook of Cusco. I can see a little bit through the trees. In a moment, I'm going to take this silly camera off my head, so I put my nice wide brim hat on before I get a really funny racing stripe uh, tan line like John Grace's kayak helmet. Shout out for you, Grace. Hope you're having a good time, man. If you like this video, give it a like. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you liked, maybe what you didn't like. If you really dig this channel, then by all means, subscribe and ring the bell. You won't be sorry. Donations are humbly accepted. Hey, I'm a poor river guide. It's gonna be a while before I get back on the river and make some money. Cusco, Peru, on another endless summer dirtbagging it across South America on a budget. Hey, is there any other way for a dirty river guide to make it? Hell, if I can do this, anybody can.